Well, it's a top priority. We favor comprehensive immigration reform, and I think it's going to pass in this session of the Congress. And I think there will be ways where essential workers can come into the country prospectively, whether they're working in agriculture or other other industries, other sectors. Um, that, if we go back, you know, decades ago, actually, that was when there were sort of fewer problems. Uh, Although the, the sick U.S. economy has sort of cured the immigration problem for the moment because uh, there's, nobody wants to come, there aren't the jobs here. But, I, but I, that will change, I hope, and, and therefore we, we do have to, to think about the future. But I think on the, on the high-skilled immigration, uh, this is real simple. Uh, if, if you're in a sector where, where talent determines winners, the, the company with the best and the smartest, most innovative, creative people are going to win. Uh, it's real simple. If you can't have those people here, if you can't find them here or can't find them in sufficient quantities, you go elsewhere. There, there's no limit on doing that. And, and that is a, an imperative. Fail to do that and you fail as an organization. So uh, it is, and everyone has said this, uh, but this will be, it requires comprehensive immigration to get it done. Why on earth would we give half the slots in graduate schools to students from foreign nations and then send the majority of them back home. Uh, today we have to, we ought to have, we probably actually increasingly have to fight to keep them here because the, the sending nation wants them back and, and they want some of their earlier graduates back as well. We need to be creating the environment where we're keeping people here. We also obviously, to get K-12, we need to do a better job of, of having our own uh, young people prepared to compete for those uh, slots in those universities, too. Susan, what do your studies tell you about the, this next stage in U.S. immigration policy? I think immigration is important. I think it's important as part of a larger agenda. I don't think it's about just getting the skills we need by importing them. I think that the, that the reforms to build the talent here with the people here are critically important. Short term, maybe H-1B visas can fill talent gaps, very specific shortages that take time to build. But long term, immigration isn't the solution for that. Now that said, immigration reform is very important and I think it's important because of Im innovation. I mean, this country was built on immigrant labor. Um, there's all sorts of studies about the drive that it takes for somebody to pick up and move to a new country and their willingness to work hard um, and, and see the American dream are well-founded, um, and it's a strength of this country. I would agree that the fact that the U.S. universities and graduate schools, which are the strongest in the world, are filled with foreign students, and until 10 years ago, we let them stay and work in the United States. We no longer do that, and that is a crazy policy. Even if we were to change that, which I hope we do soon, I think you're right that, there, that the opportunities in India and China are very exciting for new talent. Um, so the U.S. should absolutely try to keep the people who come here and become educated stay.